Ethan, you just wrapped up your sophomore year at SIUE. What were some of the things that kind of impressed you the most about your sophomore year, but what excited you the most about it more than anything? Uh, I think the most exciting thing was we actually like basically had like a whole new team this year, and just like seeing us improve from week one to the however many weeks, week sixteen or whatever, and just the chemistry that we built as a team was just so exciting. And, uh, it's just like it's like a second home when you're away from home. So I think that was the most exciting thing about it. From your freshman to sophomore year, you've uh, you've kind of switched positions up. How has that gone for you, and how do you feel like maybe you've adjusted in a certain way? Uh, freshman year, I played third, and then my sophomore year, I played first and third, and it was definitely a change because I never played the right side of the infield. Um, it definitely took some time to get used to, but uh, I learned quick, and it, it felt comfortable as the season went on. Um, and then I went back to third and just felt like home back at third. So. So what was your batting average as a freshman and then also as a sophomore? Uh, freshman year was like 250, somewhere around there. And my sophomore year, I had 309 and then 361 in conference play. As far as the conference, it just keeps getting tougher and tougher. But how have you adjusted to playing such good competition? Uh, it's just a mindset thing, really. You just kind of go. You switch from preseason to non-conference to conference, and your mindset just flips. Uh, you just got to have a mindset of just being a dog and, going to the box, going on the field, just can't have a mindset that you're not going to win because if you go out there and think you're not going to win, then chances are you're not going to win. Now that you have two years under your belt, how much has the speed of the game changed? Uh, definitely changes a lot. Uh, your freshman year, it's like really fast in your head and you just kind of have to mentally slow it down, but you don't really understand how. And then my sophomore year, I took time to really think about how to slow the game down in my head and just focus on what uh, the next play is going to be. Favorite game to been a part of as a sophomore? Uh, probably the Little Rock series. We played them at home. Uh, the first game, we were supposed to play on Friday and it got canceled, so we had a doubleheader on Saturday. Uh, the first game, we were losing. I think it was like 8 to 6 going into the ninth. Then we uh, walked it off and then we played the doubleheader and then we won like 13 to 11 the second game. Um, but that series was definitely the best one. I think we just played really sound baseball the whole weekend uh we couldn't finish the job on sunday again the sweep but took two out of three from the top team in the conference so i think that was definitely the best series that we played we talked at freshman year about how some of the techniques you were wanting to work on for hitting wise but also fielding what were they and did you improve a lot on them uh yeah my sophomore year was definitely um it was way different than my freshman year i just i had a lot more confidence in my sophomore year um which I think helped me a lot because my freshman year didn't really have that much confidence. Um, and that's what you need in baseball is confidence. So just definitely like getting stronger from your freshman to sophomore year and it definitely shows. Um, but yeah, I just a lot of confidence and then baseball is just muscle memory. So just continuously getting reps and consistently working at it just definitely helped me going into my sophomore year. How tall are you now, and what do you weigh? Six four, about 200 pounds. Hitting the sound of the bat, you seem to hit it square almost every single time. Your hand-eye coordination is spot on. What do you credit that, but also your IQ is out of this world? Uh, I just, it just goes back to when I started playing baseball uh, when I was little. And just seeing the progress that I've made since I was like, I've been playing baseball since I was three. So just seeing all the progress i made, it's just cool to see and how much improvement I've made on myself and like everybody that's pushed me to be where I am today. So I think that's just what got me there today. So. As far as hitting and fielding, which one comes easier for you? Um, I'd like to say hitting comes easier, but hitting is by far the hardest thing to do in the world. Um, so I'd say fielding comes easier, but what I like to do more is definitely hit. Um, but what I work more at, I, I think it's pretty even. Uh, 
you know, I'll go hit and then I'll field or I'll field and I'll go hit. But yeah, I think it's pretty evenly distributed. What is the biggest thing as far as yourself, Ethan, that you've noticed about yourself in one year? Uh, definitely just growing as a player as a whole, but definitely the, like my strength, speed. Um, I definitely got a lot bigger and stronger since my freshman year. And then just a lot of confidence too. The confidence thing is just the most important thing as, as a baseball player, that's all you need. Um, From when you started as a college, now where you're at going to junior year, how much do you think the nervousness has, has kind of slimmed down? Um, definitely a lot. I mean, you get you get the freshman nerves when you go into college, and then you like settle in when you get there. But it's definitely all the nerves are gone. I love my roommates and my teammates. Um, they're def they're super cool, and they're like they're like family to me. So we do everything together. But it definitely it's definitely changed from high school to freshman year. But it definitely goes away as you get older. You're a leader on this team now. How much respect do you get for that? Uh, I'd say a lot. Um, it's definitely like you you get JUCO guys who come in your junior year, and then you get like the people that like us who have been there for this will be my third year. Um, so you definitely like you teach the new guys um, what the program's about, what the coaches are like, um, how we do things at SAUE. Um, but definitely, I definitely get some respect. Um, you know, people respect me, and I respect all my teammates. I love all my teammates. So. What is one specific goal or goals you have for your junior year? Uh, the main one is definitely to win a ring, to win the conference championship. Uh, last year, I felt like we had the, a good chance to win it. Uh, we just didn't get the job done. Um, this year, that's just the mindset. You just gotta have a winner's mindset. Um, just go out there, play hard, and win, win the conference. What's the number one thing that excites you the most about your upcoming junior year? Um, I think just knowing that we have the most returners in the conference. Um, we definitely have we have six out of nine coming back in the lineup. So I think that's just the most exciting thing about coming up. You've been gaining some serious attraction, of course. Um, obviously, the MLB comes when it comes, but you have to get to that point first. But what's it going to take to get there? Uh, I just think just having a right mindset of being the best you know, college baseball player you can be and then see what happens after that. Uh, you can't really think too much about it because then you just get in over your head. And, uh, you put a lot more pressure on yourself than you need to. So I just think if I just continue to dry, strive for greatness and work as hard as I possibly can, uh, just see what happens next. Ethan, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Good luck with junior year, and we wish you the best of luck with your future entitles. Thank you.